if there wouldn't have been a, a, an AIDS project here in the Quad Cities, I probably um, never would have would have come home because I understand the support that I, that I need, not only the financial, um, but the the mental support that you get. It is important that, that everybody realizes that this isn't a gay disease anymore. Last week, uh, Beth had 11 intakes, um, which means we have 11 new clients in one week uh, to the AIDS project. Uh, of those 11, um, seven are women, two are children, and two are gay men. Um, so just with the numbers here locally, it's, it's becoming more and more obvious that the fastest growing group of infections is heterosexual women between the ages of 18 and, and 44. This year's budget for the AIDS project is approximately $80,000. It was based on, on an increase from 40 clients to 60 clients. Right now, as of um, a couple of days ago, we have over 200 clients. Um, so needless to say, our $80,000 budget isn't going to cut it. Some of the problems we run into with trying to, to raise funds and even so much as getting a, a person that's known well in the community to serve on our board of directors is, is they don't want to associate their name with the AIDS project because of the stigmas that are attached to this disease. The AIDS project really has three different focuses. The, the first focus is um, education to the community. The second focus is prevention of the disease. The third thing uh, which costs the most money is is services for clients. Uh, most clients don't work anymore because of the because of the disease um, so they need financial assistance for housing. Um, we have people that that don't have enough money to put food on their table so we try and help in that way. They help with medication but the funds are, are very limited um, because of the increase in the client load. It's frightening to, to know that we've gone from 40 clients last year to 200 clients this year, and yet it's the same people every year that are trying to raise the money and the same amount of people. And until we get people to realize that this is a, an entire community's responsibility and an entire community is needed for the effort, um, I don't know what we're going to do. Thank you.